There are a lot of people today who are pursuing a path of spirituality without Jesus Christ. But without Jesus Christ, it's impossible to truly know God in the way that he wants us to, because he wants us to know him as our Father. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's Full Speed Devotion. There's a lot more to the Christian life than merely being good. God wants us to know Him. The core of it is really having a relationship with Him. But the only way to know someone is that they reveal themselves to you. That brings us to today's scripture, John chapter 1, verse 18, that says, No one has ever seen God. The only God who is at the Father's side, He has made Him known. Brothers and sisters, when I first became a believer and began sharing the gospel, someone shared with me a story that really confused me. They said, you know, everybody thinks they know God, but then they told me this story that there were three men who were put in a room with an elephant. One of them came out and said the elephant is like this big long pole because he had been holding the elephant's trunk. And the other one said, no, the elephant isn't like this big long pole. He's broad, is broad and reach high and wide and you can't ever reach the end of him. He's huge. Uh, and, the, and they argued back and forth. And then another one said, no, that's not what God is. That's not what the elephant's like at all. Uh, because he had been feeling the tail. He's stringy and, and, uh, and, and, and you can blow him away with your, with your breath. Um, and all of them were right, but none of them were completely right. And when they told this story to me, um, I didn't know what to say. But now I would say this. I said the difference between them and us is that they were all blindfolded. Through Jesus Christ, God has taken off the blindfold. We're not merely hunting around in the, in the dark, imagining what God must be like, basing our total conception of God on our limited experience. No, through Jesus Christ, He's taken the blindfolds off, and God Himself has come into this world through Jesus Christ. Even though none of us have seen God in His glory in the Spirit, God has revealed His spiritual glory to us by coming Himself in Jesus Christ. Did you see where it said, The only God who is at the Father's side has made Him known to us. See, Jesus Christ shows us how to know God as He is because the Son and the Father are one. He is God, and yet He came into this world and yet remained in at the Father's side. He didn't leave eternity. He actually just entered into time so that through Jesus Christ, eternity is shining into this world. He, he became like a monitor screen, live streaming heaven into the face of this planet. And what did we see? We see that God is healer, that God is good, that God is faithful, that He's willing to forgive even people caught in the very act of sin if they are willing to repent. And those who don't think that they need to repent, the religious ones who think they have it all right, those are the ones who are in for a very rude awakening. Brothers and sisters, God wants us to know Him, not merely as some spiritual force and power that's out there to bless our life, not just as the man upstairs, but as our Father who is in heaven. And the only way to know God as our Father is that we become born again, that Jesus Christ actually comes to live in us, that we receive Him as our Lord, our Savior, and our source of life, and that we, through Him, become sons and daughters of the living God, that we have the same life, the same spirit, the same nature, because anybody can know God exists as creator. Anybody can know God as the lawgiver and the judge. But only those that are born again through Jesus Christ can know him as our father and learn to live as sons in the power of the Holy Spirit. And praise God, that's how we know God. By walking with him through Jesus Christ as sons and daughters in the power of the Holy Spirit. So let's declare these things over our lives today, brothers and sisters. I am born of God. In Jesus Christ, I have seen the Father. I have received Jesus Christ. He is my life. I am a son of God. 
I am born of God. God is my Father. I love you, Father. You love me. You live in me. I am at your side in Christ, and you are inside of me in the Holy Spirit to live through me this day in Jesus' name. Brothers and sisters, I hope you're encouraged. Please comment, like, and share. Check out my website, fullspeedimpact.com, especially the Full Speed Impact Academy, our online mentoring program where we are mentoring believers to walk in the fullness of Jesus Christ and to multiply disciples around the world. God bless you and have an amazing day. Music